Hi, my name is Lisa Stockton. I'm the head women's basketball coach at Tulane, and this is my 19th season. Well, I think growing up in North Carolina and growing up on Tobacco Road, um, you watch a lot of basketball. And, and my parents um, played basketball. That's how they met. They played in a textile league together. And um, growing up, we, basketball was always on TV. We had a basketball court in our backyard. And uh, it was something that it wasn't difficult to get me to play. But, but the, the next level of coaching, um, it was my passion. I, I wanted to do that from, from since I can remember as a kid. And um, I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to pursue coaching. I think uh, being an athlete in, in, a, in a conference like the ACC was a tremendous opportunity for me. It was a great learning experience, but it was also one, uh, being at Wake Forest, a school similar to, to Tulane, um, that you had to balance everything. You had to balance the academics and the basketball, and uh, you had high levels of both. And so I think as a coach here, uh, my experience as a student athlete, um, I've done that, I've lived that life, and, and I certainly know the strains of the academics. So I think it's a little understanding that, that my staff and I certainly have for our players to be able to balance it all. Well, uh, after I finished my master's degree at North Carolina, which has a tremendous basketball tradition, um, I had an opportunity at 23 to be a head coach. And although it was Division III, um, it was probably one of the best things that happened to me because I had to do it all. I had to do the recruiting. I had to do every part of it. And, and I learned at a very young age um, really what coaching is all about. And uh, going from there back to the ACC at Georgia Tech gave me that national recruiting experience that, that I certainly lacked when I was in Division III. Um, and, and we had some success at Georgia Tech. So I, I really, uh, that experience was something I could build on. And then when the opportunity came to come, opportunity arrived to, to come to Tulane, um, a similar school that I'd grown up in and um, a great city like this, I, I felt like it was a, a tremendous break for me uh, as, as a coach. I uh, never thought I would look back 18 years and still be here, but I'm really happy to be here and um, so proud of what we've done here. Just uh, the championships, but just my student athletes and um, the things they've accomplished on the court, but the things they've accomplished off. And um, over my 18 years, it's, it's been nice to see the players come back and, and still have a lot of pride in this program. Uh, things I remember here, I don't think I can say one. Um, there's been so many special moments. Um, obviously, our first NCAA at Tulane was, was tremendous. That was my first year. Um, I think about winning the championship in 99 in Fogelman and cutting the nets down and having all of our fans surrounding us. That, that's always special. Um, Coming back to Fogelman after Katrina, after we'd been at Texas Tech and being the first team in the city to have played and compete and seeing people in the stands that I'd never seen at a game before, but they came to be a part of that moment. Um, that was certainly special. And, and that same team after Katrina, um, being able to win a conference championship just two years later uh, was probably one of our biggest accomplishments because it was a, a tough time for us here as an athletic program and as a city and to see those kids be so resilient and come in and win that championship. Um, but also, I hope my best moment at Tulane is still yet to be. And there's a lot of things we haven't accomplished. And, and uh, we've got some goals for the program. And, and uh, I hope that's still yet to come. Well, I, th I think first this season, um, we're in such a good place, um, meaning that I think there's a lot of changes here with facilities and, and things like that going on is real positive. But uh, we've just got such a great group of, of players, and, and not just talent-wise, but they, they get along so well. And as coaching staff, I think we got a great relationship with them. So that, that gives me hope that I think this group can, can do some things that maybe have never been done here. Um, for this season, um, you, you know, in some ways you've got to take it bit by bit. And we, we've got a tough schedule ahead. Um, to integrate all these players. We have a lot of talent and to be able to integrate them together to get the most out of them I think is going to be a huge challenge for our coaching staff. Uh, but at the end of the year if we can play our best basketball with the group that we have now and injury free uh, we're going to be pretty good and I think this group can can make a run. Um, hopefully we can make a run not only in the conference tournament but make a run in the NCAA tournament and, and that's something that We've not been able to, to get an NCAA tournament in a seed that we, we really had a, an opportunity to advance. So th this is one of those things that I know as a coach, if we can do that, um, we can do something no two lane team's ever done. The most rewarding thing about being here um, is, is the players. There's no doubt about that. I mean, I, I love selling this program. I mean, I love walking to a house and offering, offering this opportunity. Um, and, and that's both. That's the academics here. That's being a part of the city. But it's also coming here and winning. And I think they come for a reason. Um, and you look in the last two years, um, our GPA has been over a 3-0. We've won 23 plus games a year. Um, but they are a lot of fun. And they, they get a lot of reward from, from succeeding in everything. And I love to come to work every day. And I think there's a lot of people that can't say that. My number one goal here uh, 
from the university standpoint is is I need to bring quality people in here and, and, and do the best we can between these lines but I also they need to get a degree and be able to go out and, and be successful um, so we have graduated everybody that's been here for four years because that is our goal and that is our intent we don't we don't go and uh, recruit people that just want to be here just for the basketball um, our players influence the other players. When they come in, I think you've got seniors that are looking at their careers and are excited about that. I think our freshmen see that and they see what they're going to be. And that's what we're supposed to do, especially in women's athletics. We just don't have those multi-million dollar contracts. So as an educator, I've got to make sure that they're prepared for the world. I think to, to be successful here, um, you have to have your priorities in the right order. And that's, that's huge. Um, basketball certainly got to be one of those, but it can't be the only one. Um, the, the same works. It, it can't be all about academics. It's got to be the basketball. So I think it's a balance of that. Um, I, I think we have got tremendous parents in our program, and uh, I think that's one reason our, our players are, are, are pretty wonderful. The parents are great. And so I think it's as much a part of recruiting the families here as it is the individual. When my time is done here, I would love for my players to say it about me. I would love for them to look back and say, their four years here were really special um, in every way. And if I can pile up 20 plus years at Tulane and, and my players consistently say that, um, you know, I, I think that's really special and I think I've done my job. I certainly want the community and, and the fans to appreciate what we've done, but it really is the people I work with every day.